So welcome back everyone. We're hot in here, <laughs> but you know what? We are having a good time. We're networking with everybody out there. We're live on Facebook. Hi to everybody out there. Like this and follow us. We're going to be sharing the show in just a minute. Uh, my next guests have been on with me a few times now. I have with me Evan Gavrilis, and he is the owner of Axel Communications. He also has with him Jim Sheely. And Jim, you are the director of sales. Welcome to the show. I want you to tell everybody a little bit about yourselves. We have to start with that all the time. You're going to be coming on once a month now, you know, kind of the, the following the Hobby and Howie show on, on, on my show every Thursday, the first Thursday of every month. But we want to tell everybody a little bit about yourselves, what you do, and then what we're going to talk about today. Uh, thank you. I, yeah, we love being here. Um, like you said, we're going to start being here on Thursdays at 1230 for the foreseeable future or once a month. And hopefully people can tune in and kind of get a little more information about our company. We're a full service security company. We specialize in commercial security, access control, and we have a, a great, um, we got a great team behind us. Um, we have a new team member started last week. His name is Dan. He's the director of business development and we're excited to have him on board to push us to the next level. And um, that's, we specialize in access control and video systems and uh, security systems and fire alarms. and. We're, we're excited to be here. Every, we're going to be here every Thursday, right, Carol? Um, every first, first Thursday, Thursday of First Thursday of the month, right? 1230, and, you know, we're excited. We're going to be posting a lot of that on our website, and we're going to be doing, you know, mass marketing emails to awesome. get our customers to come on and And kind listen of to check us. it out and what it is yeah. that, we, that you do. And, you know, I, what I'm happy to hear is how excited you are about, you know, you're in business, you're in business that is in business helping other people, not letting anything affect you in any way, because you have to pledge through everything that's going on, correct? Yeah, it's it's kind of crazy now, and we, we understand that, but, you know, we remain focused on our agenda and what we're here for. Right, and you know what, when you're a business, what I, first of all, with everything that you do, it's super cool. I don't care if you're a man or a woman, when you listen to some of the things that you can do to help people be secure and safe, uh, you just have super cool stuff, right? And in your business, it does change all the time. Uh, and I know you have some new features that you want to talk a little bit about. Some of the things that let's talk first about some of the things that you do when somebody calls you, and some of the things that you can offer them, and then some of the new features that you have. Okay. Well, when someone calls in, that's where I get involved. I make an appointment. I go out. I meet with them. I talk to them. I get to know them. Talk about their needs help them start designing their system. If, uh, if they have a great idea, we run with it. I, I put it all together. If there's areas where I think it needs to be tweaked, we talk through all those things. Um, I get all the information back, and that's when it really becomes a team effort across the board. Because I get uh, our lead technician, Pat, involved. I get Connor, who's been with us for many years, involved. Because these guys are out seeing it every day, just to make sure we're given exactly what the customer needs. And then, you know, when the customers call in and they need help, we got Chris and Mellon. They're also uh, giving them support as well. Well, too, this is, uh, we said earlier, we were talking about how things start with a story. Almost everything starts with a story these days. And if you're in a business, it does. It starts with that, too. What type of business? How, what are you growing to? What are your needs? How, what kind, how many people you got working for you? All those kinds of things. So that you have to really get to know your client. Oh, absolutely. Because every single system is different in some way or another. It's just not a cookie cutter every single it can't Square be. fits every single block. It right. just doesn't work that way. Right. And when you work with people right now, uh, the first things that you do, first of all, you were mentioning the last time that you came on and every time that you come on, basically everyone now has their phone to be able to do things from their phone. So it's actually become even easier to have this protection. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the, the key now that everyone's looking for in the COVID-19 world is how can we be touchless? And the cloud offers that solution better than anywhere else. And how does that happen? Well, it, it, with the phone, when you start getting into the access control, uh, you can now use your phone for unlocking doors. Uh, we can start putting uh, automatic openers on the doors themselves, so you don't actually have to touch anything. Um, you know, and then you, you get the, uh, you know, the, um, the phone will actually you hit your app and it will connect to the system and open up. But there's a lot of things that, one thing I really get excited about is that the technology is changing so fast. And in the last three weeks to three months, 
it has changed in a manner that we haven't seen. Like you what? Know, well, you, you you know, thermal cameras are now a big thing. People are always the, the talk of thermal cameras. And thermal cameras are great. They were never developed for a fever. You know what I'm saying? They they they, they detect temperature, but they're always developed for the commercial world. Say, um, in a power plant, you have these thermal cameras that could detect if a piece of equipment's overheating and stuff like that. That's what they're really designed for. They weren't designed really to for the COVID stuff, but we're getting close. They're not quite there. So what do they do with it? The, the camera will tech, detect whether you have a, a fever. Good, Jim. Yeah, so what happens is uh, you set this camera up and, and you funnel everybody into one location. And you can set parameters with the camera to say, looking for X temperature, like 104. And anytime someone's body temperature shows that, because it focuses on one particular part of their their face, that's right, usually their forehead. If it hits that threshold or higher, it can set an alarm that says, hey, this person needs to further screen. If it doesn't, then you just go on about your day. Right, but you know what? Here, like you said the last time I remember you, you said, it's hot here, it's, it's hot, hot in this room. I'm certainly, I'm sure I'm 104 at least right now. But at, what you said is what happens is you go into the next level, which is then somebody would take your temperature and what have you. But look at where we're going with being protected these days. It's yeah, just crazy. amazing. Oh, yeah. I love some of the different things, but the cloud, the cloud is sort of where it is. How safe is it for everything to be in the cloud like this? Well, banking's in the cloud. It's all encrypted. Um, you can buy your airline tickets online. You can transfer money online. It's all encrypted um, data. Right. Um, so when you get into that side of it, you know, it's bank encryption. So it's really very, very secure. So what do you have here? What does this eagle eye thing mean? What is that? Eagle eye advantages. It says it right here. Okay, so eagle eye is uh, the cloud-based camera system that we typically use. And the nice thing about that is it marries nicely with our access control system so that you can do a lot of internal programming between them so that when you go up, you swipe your car to the door or you use your phone to open it, it'll automatically connect a 10 second clip to that card read. In addition to it, it, it's accessible anywhere in the world through your phone. So you could be sitting on the beach, get an alert that uh, something that from your phone that there was an incident at your office, you can just pull out your phone right then and look. You don't have to go find a computer and dial in and do all kinds of stuff. The last time you were on, you were talking about, we talk about the story about the guy who came around your place and was right, kind of trying right. to get in. That cameras are really just so good for what? As much, and then it, at some point, what? Well, the, the, you know, obviously security, you know, um, employee safety. You got to remember cameras, we talked about this last time, cameras, buying them on the internet are great solutions for residential people. Where Eagle Eye comes in, they take it to the next level. And, and a little bit of background on Eagle Eye, they're owned in, Michael Dell and Dean Draco founded Eagle Eye. Dean Draco owned Barracuda Networks, and Michael Dell is Dell Computers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they saw the vision many years ago about stuff that is in the cloud, you know, cloud, everything. I mean, banking's in the cloud, medical's in the cloud, everything's up there. So they just took it to the next level, and now they married it with access control for your business and you have it right on your phone you have it right on your phone so and, you can and that's what people want you know? access to it yeah I, I was on my way down here and i heard a story that during the covid 19 your average person is watching a video screen when they're at home 19 hours a day that's pretty right now especially right especially right now and i'm thinking 19 hours a day they're on either on their phone or in front of their computer. They're on even more so than that. We're going to go to a break and we're going to come back and talk further. You can check them out on their website. It's Axel, A-C-C-E-L, Communications. No, you can, okay, I'm sorry. It's Axel, A-C-C-E-L-A-Z. Dot com, and you can also call them direct. Their phone number is 623-582-1420. They do free ex estimates, and they're rated with the Better Business Bureau. Hang tight. We'll be back in just a minute. Okay with that? That's good. Now when we come back, um, I'll finish up with that of how much they're on their phones and how everybody's just using yeah, that. I heard that on the way down here. I'm like, 19 hours a day? Well, I'm sure it's even longer than that. I mean, I think my, I know for a fact because my daughter is on her phone. I mean, it's 24-7. Yeah, because they go to bed and they're in bed listening to it. Mm -hmm. 
watching their phone, mm -hmm. and I'm like, that's crazy. So, you know, the, the phone side of it is where people want to be. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big, you know, I mean, I, I love my phone, but that's when it comes to the security side. Plus, phones are locked, right? Mm -hmm. And you have to, you know, they get locked automatically. But I think it's, because uh, I'm not able to be stat, I'm like, yeah, 19 hours. Yeah, that's amazing. It makes sense. I didn't tell you about this. I woke Cooper up yesterday morning. Yeah. I come in, he's asleep on his pillow. His phone is still in his hand playing Netflix. He's dead to the world. He fell asleep like this. Yeah. That's a whole nother conversation. Yeah, that's yeah. a streaming thing that they're doing. Yeah. Oh, I know. Crazy. But that's, he's right. That's how much people are on their phones. It's, it's amazing. We are um, going to continue the conversation right now because I want to um, continue with where our live uh, um, feed on, on Facebook. And to me, I think what's really important is, is that today of all days, we want people to make sure that they are not just taking thinking about themselves, but thinking about other people as well, the, their employees, and, and making sure that they are safe. And that's something that we've talked about too with you, you know, many times as well. You know, what are your thoughts about the employees being um, making sure that they do that, and that more more companies should be making sure that they have this, um, you know, the eagle eye system. Yeah, well, I've, I've got a customer that I spend a lot of time working with right now. Who's redoing their entire safety protocol around making their customers, their employees more. I think a lot of people are. I know that I've seen a lot of people who are working on getting uh, more security, getting, but then also making sure that the, all the employees know what they have to do. Do you actually come in and work with them like that yeah. when they are, at, once you put in the system, they have to have a system in place if something happens. Do you work with them on that too? Oh, we, I work with them on all aspects of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got, we're working, we have a conference call today with a pretty big customer and they came to us and said, okay, what technology is out there to help us with our, not our, but with our entire plan. The entire plan might include um, visitor access. You know, what, what do we do with a visitor? We put them in the conference room, we wait for somebody, you know, and then now what do we do with security? And we can talk a little bit about the security side of what's going on with yeah. that. I mean, so, um, People are re people are rethinking everything. I and I believe they are. No, you, you I mean you you rethink your life, right? You're careful totally. what you touch. You're right. you got more hand sanitizer you've ever used in your life. Right, right, you know? right. So everybody. I mean, the world we have totally changed yes. completely, yeah. and then nothing to do with anything that in the last four or five days. It's more since it seems like since maybe February, March especially when COVID came around, this world changed completely in how we do things, how we interact with people, right? And our businesses, how do we how do we handle people that are coming in that we don't know, right? Everything from security to buying a car to shopping, everything's changed. Everything. And everybody's shifting gears and putting their commercial, their marketing behind some of that stuff. You know, you, you go online now, I mean, you see commercials, buy a car, you know, from our phone app and have a, so seven day guarantee if you don't like it you bring your car back and i'd probably do that oh yeah you i know? just saw that just saw that yeah recently so you never even heard that was unheard right of, right you know three months ago but, i know here know. we go so welcome back everyone so axel az Dot com. It's A C C E L A Z dot com, and you can check them out on their website. And it, you know, not only that, give them a call and talk to them. We've been talking at the break a little bit about how life has changed dramatically since about March, uh, February, March, and people do view how we interact with people, buy things, go things, do things, take care of who are we going to have in our businesses, um, and, and how are we going to take care of them once they're in there, or are they going to be safe, our employees and things like that. You've seen such a dramatic change in the last few weeks, correct? Yeah, oh, yeah. Every aspect of every business has done some changes, and when it comes to our world, the little world we're in, which is the security world, everything is different. Like, when it comes to access control, people secure their facility. So what they want to do is, they want to make sure everybody comes in one entryway, okay? So if you come up to your facility, you can't come in the back door or the front door. You have to come in the main entry, and our, our, our manufacturers have fixed that where when you come in, every, every 24 hours, your credential that you get in with, 
literally expires and the only way to get it to work is if you come in the front door and get screened. You can't sneak in the back door anymore. Hmm. You see what I'm getting no at? No sneaking around. Yeah, so a card access credential would typically work on any door because you're allowed to come in the facility, but since now they want to funnel everybody into a particular door, they want you to come in the front door, run your card at the card reader, and then that will make all your doors work and then you get screened and then you can go in. So they're not allowing people just, you know, you know people, they come to work sick and they just, I'll just, I'll just sit at my desk, I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. well, you can't have you know that. everybody's sneezing and coughing. Right. And this is one of the really huge advantages of cloud technology is on a traditional system, we would have had to go out, install new software, spend some time getting it all set up with the cloud. It's there the next day. You just you wake up and it starts working. Wow. And it's so simple to be used because it's just done right off of your phone. Yes. And then once they have the system in place, you then also work with them on a system for everybody to know what they're doing and how they're doing it. You walk them through that as well. Oh, yeah. I, I go out. I provide additional training. I, I help them through whatever challenges they have. Right now, there are so many customers that are just trying to rethink the entire way they run their security pro programs. And they're, I'm on the phone all the time just giving them my input, doing some research for them, telling them what I think is the best way to go. And we talk about it internally so that we're all on the same page. Now, you do free estimates with people. You have to because you've got to sit down and talk to them and find out what their needs are. You're rated with the Better Business Bureau. You're valley-wide. Write this number down. It's 623 Five eight two one four two zero. Their website is Axel A C C E L A Z dot com. And the thing is, is to talk to them about what your needs are. Get that free consultation with them. Obviously, we're talking mostly about commercial businesses here, right? And and the people out there. Does it matter what size are you know what typical type of businesses that you work with? Um, it, it can range from one door to hundreds of doors of access control. It can range from one camera to you know hundreds of cameras. It really doesn't matter. It just you know we're here for the small system. We're not just out there, you know, with, for the big guys. We're here for the small guys. Yeah, because the small guys need it too. It's everybody needs they it. They almost need it, you know, Absolutely. even more so. Yeah, we're, we're we recognize that. I mean, so you know, you come to my office, you can't get in the door without getting either. I know you're coming. The girls know you're coming and you get buzzed in, and then when you get buzzed in, you have to come through some protocols, okay? It's just the way things are today, and it's just, and it's ever-changing, I mean, you can, we have to be on top of this, and every day we're getting emails from our vendors, from our suppliers about, hey, this is happening, and it's every week we find new features and new products to, to you know, I have a, like I said, I have a customer today I need to talk to, they don't know. They said, ask me yesterday, what's out there now that we can help us with our protocols, and I'm like, I can't tell you on the cell phone. I need to, I need to call you back, and we can schedule something. So we have something scheduled today. So. Yeah, and in terms of when you're working with people, because things change all the time, I'm sure that when something comes up new, and you've got someone that should probably have something like this, you're going to call them up and say, "Hey, this new product just came out. You might want to add it to what you're doing." Oh yeah, absolutely. I I had something like that just this week where uh, we were talking around the office and somebody said, hey, I saw this really cool product. I said, that would be perfect for this right. customer. Mm -hmm. So I sent it over to him and said, what do you think? He's like, I want more information on that. Absolutely. Now, uh, when you also, with your company, there's a lot more of the things that you do. You would mentioned so a little bit about fire alarms and all of that. Let's wrap it up with everybody, like kind of talking about more about the company and all the services that you offer. Oh, yeah, we offer... Um, well, obviously, I just told you to talk about that. Cameras, security systems, fire alarm systems. We do full monitoring of all these. Um, we do service on them. Uh, our guys are all NYSET certified, which is huge in our industry because uh, you've got to be, you got to have these uh, these certifications in order to even work on a fire alarm system. When is the best time to call you? Obviously, before anything, I think this. We've talked a lot on this show in the last. I would say in the last maybe three months, I think it's about that, much. proactive, for people to be proactive, not just about your health, but about your businesses, about taking care of everyone, making sure that they are safe, being proactive, so be sooner rather than later. You can, you, you know, we're, we're open from 8 to 5, you can call me anytime, I, got, I was at the office at 4.15 this morning, 
and I'll probably be there till six o'clock tonight. We are very busy, and we're. But I, I go back to the seatbelt analogy. You know, I go back and say, okay, why do you wear a seatbelt? Well, I haven't been in a car wreck, and I haven't been in a car wreck in thirty years. But why do you wear a seatbelt? Well, in case. Mm -hmm. well, why do you lock your door? You know, just keep your door open. I haven't broken into in thirty years. Why bother locking your door? It's just done in layers. Security's done in layers. You know, you put your seatbelt on. You got airbags. You know, you you know all the safety features of the new cars and stuff like that. It's just done in layers, and that's all we're here to try to educate people on. Yeah, I mean, chances are maybe you're not going to get broken into, or maybe you're not going to have issues at home. And we do we do residential too. We have a, a lot of great long-term residential customers. Oh, okay. Right? So we I know yeah. we did both. So yeah, you know, and, that, and that's but that's what we're kind of after. We're a, the value in our company has nothing to do with our products. It has everything to do with our employees. Absolutely, it really does. Our we have the best employees, and I'm not you know I, I'm maybe a little biased, but I know that I can call or text one of them at six o'clock at night and say, hey, what's going on with Carol, you know, Blonder's contract? And they'll send me, oh, it's in my desk, and I go, thank you. Mm -hmm. You know, but our, the value in our company are our employees. And I think that's really important. We want to have people that we can trust, you know, not just the people that we walk in our doors and that we're, here we are trying to protect ourselves against all this COVID and all those sorts of stuff of people that might walk in. But the people that you work with, you want to make sure you that you can, them. you know, and to be trust, have somebody that is, they don't just become somebody who is selling you something. It's more so than that. And especially with something like this, you said it's done in layers. And I'm sure that people, obviously, they want to start off right off the bat. They usually call you when? After the fact. They After have, something yeah, they're, happens. They're in a car wreck and go, hey, I need insurance. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, you need to call them now because, you know, it can ha it can ha if it could happen to him and he owns a business such as this, it can happen to anyone, and we do know that there's a lot of people out there that are, do lots of really stupid things, honestly. But you know, especially, uh, I don't know what it is about the people out there that are look, they're hungry, they're waiting, they need something for whatever it is. They go around the doors, they're just checking on them, and like the guy that came by your door. But the, if you have one that's open, it only takes one, and they yeah. can go in there and destroy everything and make you uh, make it miserable for yeah. you. So again, you could call them direct. Their phone number is 623-582-1420. They do free estimates. They're valley-wide. They're rated with the Better Business Bureau. Check them out on their website. It's A-C-C-E-L-A-Z.com. The next time you come in here, I have an idea about maybe bringing one of your cameras or something like that because we're visual now. It might be really oh, neat. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, because a lot of people love this kind of stuff, it is it's it's cool stuff. But at the same time, as uh, mission as impossible as it is, it's possible to protect yourself and make sure that these kinds of things don't happen to you. Absolutely. And everybody has a story. Do not wait till it's too late and something has already happened to you. Maybe you're listening to this and you work for a company. Tell them about it. That's what networking is all about. Maybe you were someone that you know. Again, that number to call is 623-582-1420. They will come out and they said that because of the cloud, this can be set up in basically about a day. You just wake up and the next day you got your phone and you're protected. Again, that number to call them is 623-582-1420. Free estimates rated with the Better Business Bureau. They're valley-wide. Do not wait till it's too late. Again, check them out on their website. Check out all their services. That website is Axel, A-C-C-E-L-A-Z.com and call them. The number again is 623 623- Five eight two one four two zero. Again, read it with the business Better Business Bureau Valley wide. It's a c c e l a z dot com. Thanks, girl. So, how do you like that idea that 